Thanks so much for staying with us and a special welcome to you on Heart 102 and on the internet at cvmtv.com. Eight persons were slaughtered in the St. Catherine community of Tradiga Park in a grisly pre-dawn attack by gunmen. Investigators are now scrambling to find a motive for the killings, which they believe were carried out by up to 20 heavily armed men. As Delona the residents say they are tired of the criminal elements wreaking havoc in their community. A ghastly Friday the 13th for the Tradiga Park residents as they awoke to news that eight members of the community were brutally gunned down by marauding gunmen. According to the police, 15 men dressed in dark colored clothing armed with high-powered weapons entered the community just after midnight. The gunmen entered the house of 43-year-old Hopalyn Dennis, where they opened fire, killing her and three of her five children, 23-year-old Nexifia, 16-year-old Joey, and 11-year-old Angel. Ms. Dennis's 13-year-old son was hospitalized after he was shot and injured. Her one-year-old daughter is now safe with relatives. We were told that Miss Dennis, in a last heroic act, pushed the baby under the bed to avoid the hail of bullets. The perpetrators then proceeded to another house where they opened fire, killing 16-year-old Eldon Ferrand Sr., otherwise called Daddy, his 38-year-old son Eldon Jr., otherwise called Fidel, and his 22-year-old grandson Gary Stewart, who was also called Lando, as well as 20 26-year-old Orit Miller, who was visiting the family. The gunman then robbed this house and tortured it. The owner of the house said he narrowly escaped after he saw the gunman approaching. We went through the back because it was dark, then they couldn't get to see us. So we went through the back and, and there was a light there, and we knocked the light out, and then we jumped through the back, and we went down through the back, and while we were there, staying low. A senior citizen explained that he was forced to hide under the bed as gunmen opened fire on his house. Now you say I get shot, can I shut up the house? But we have realized now, we are water, from, from, we are sick now, we are water and thing. According to some residents, gunshots rang out for nearly an hour in the community and complained that it took hours for the police to respond to their distress calls. Lawmen, however, said they were delayed in entering the area as gunshots rang out in areas along the route such as March Penn Road. After a night of horror, another mass exodus seemed likely. Many vowed to leave the community before nightfall on Friday. With the high level of criminal activities grippling the Tradiga Park community, residents believe that a 24-hour police post be established to deter criminal elements. We are asking people, the Prime Minister, I spoke after the earth outages were burnt, and I asked for a post. We have done a petition, and we have asked for a post, a permanent post, that is. We, the police had just left at about 11.30, and this happened three minutes after 12. So that means the men are watching the movement of the police. So if we get police, it has to be permanent. Please, we are asking for a permanent post. A JDF helicopter circled the scene of terror as dawn broke. The strong detachment of police and soldiers blanketed the area in search of the men. Delona Fleming, CVM News. Meanwhile, the police found a gun clip, shoes and other items believed to belong to the gunmen. The items were found in bushes between a house and the Tradiga Park Civic Association Center in the community. And members of the security forces have once again caught the hour of yet another family following what is being touted as a controversial shooting incident in St. Catherine. As we hear in this report from Marjorie Gordon, there are concerns that one of two alleged gunmen killed and their bodies found in a nearby gully behind a Brooklyn Lane was due to a mix-up in aliases. It could have been an instance where the police received praises for their quick action. However, this does not seem to be the case. The family of one of those killed complain a case of mistaken identity has gone horribly wrong after members of the security forces went to a house where a group of men were staying. One of the boys who was at the house told CVM News that he and 15-year-old Derek Bolton, otherwise called Krabby, a dancer, decided to remain at the house after a dance rehearsal. Bolton's mother had advised him to stay at the house if it had gotten too late. The gunshots in the area also encouraged the boys to remain where they were. The police then stormed the house. And I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I interrogate me. And I talk to me and I ask what we name and then thing that we are dealing with them with respect. I mean, I'm the only person when they leave in the house and they bring the other three men and gone and say they're going to kill them. 
And look, and look boy when they kill him at 15 years old, him at 15, him at just 15, he never, but I don't, he never, he never involved in no, no, at all. The only reason why he did it is because gunshot to the fire. He questioned how the police handled the matter. They kill him at the execution style. He look a youth. He look a youth. Why they never bring him to the station and check him out? Why they never find out if he wanted? What they kill him for? When they kill him, look a youth for? Krabi's mother argues that because of her son's alias, he was mistakenly identified as one of the gunmen in the Tradiga killings. Nobody knew me can't hear that my son is 31 years old. He escaped from prison and uh, he's in a um, variety of shootout. How can a 37-year-old woman have a 31-year-old child? Explain that to me. She says no one from the Jamaica Constabulary Force has spoken to her about the death of her son. Nobody come to me up to now to say, sorry mother, is a misunderstanding or something, or give me something to hold up as a mother. You understand me? 37 year old woman of oh, how? A press conference which had been scheduled shortly afterward at the Spanish Town Police Station was later cancelled. Meanwhile, the St. Catherine North Police wanted several men from the Klansmen and One Order gangs to turn themselves over to the Spanish Town Police Station. Marjorie Gordon, CVM News. And we apologize for that video insert at the end of that story. Now, as Marjorie Gordon said, police are in search of men. They want Howard Jackson or 30. Novado Hodges, Simeon Elwig, otherwise called Simeon. Joel Jennings, otherwise called JJ. And Glenton Anderson or Brownman of the Klansman gang. They also want Michael Mara or Cooley. Cooley Mickey. Rowan Hope, otherwise called Placa. Esseton Minot or Rado and Marvin Baker or Chinaman of the One Order Gang to turn themselves in to the Spanish Town Police. And a curfew was imposed in the Gravel Heights community of the St. Catherine North Division as of 6 